Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Continuing our 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Break. For those of you watching, this is random team number five. For those of you watching live, we were all the way through this to this stage of the break. This is the last box right here. And the power went out. So we, I, I left the table as is and uh, even snapped a picture of it right there. So I try to catch as much of the table as possible. But uh, we lost power at around that time. <laughs> this is Teddy's Instagram table right here. Those are battery powered. And we were, we were trying to flip everything and then we finally got power back and then my computer wanted to update. But, so we were, we were taking, we were talking to Southern California Edison and I don't know if we're gonna get that first part of the video back. We're gonna try to figure that out, but that part of the video might be lost forever. So here's what we, here's what we had pre-power outage. So that's what we had there. And then we had a bunch of like paper and parallels. All of these we're going to sleeve and top load before they go out. That's to 50. So we were in the, in the back of the building flipping main circuit breakers and all that sort of stuff. And we'll continue the break here. Called Southern California Edison. And we were we, we had them on the phone. We we're talking to them. They're like, flip these back, flip those back, this and that. And then we were just kind of we want the store was dark, so we wanted to kind of get outside where there were where the buildings next to us had light. So it was just our building. So we were kind of outside in the uh, in the parking lot. And we've got a big gate back there, and that's where we park our cars and where customers can park and everything. And this is the last, the third, third and final break of, of Super Jumbo. And then um, our colleague Thomas, who helps out here at the shop, sorts and ships, and you'll see him on the floor sometimes too. There's Landon Nacht, 250, and Casey Schmidt. Was outside as well, kind of, kind of in, just looking outside, seeing, investigating, you know, seeing if other buildings had any problems or anything like that. And some dude breezes by him into our parking lot, goes to this big gray box, this like it's you know taller than any of us here, maybe eight feet tall. Flips the handle in this big gray box, which I didn't even know what was inside there. Flips it open, hits this big switch that's inside there, and then walks away. And then we try to chase and yell after this guy, but he's he's down this he's down the street, you know. And I don't know what in these pandemic times I didn't want to run and tackle him. So we were yelling at him, and he kept walking away, didn't even turn around, and then turned a corner. That was crazy. So I don't know if it was like, I don't know, I don't know what it was. Was it like some, maybe it was like a, a homeless guy thinking that he, that, that, that there was a place to sleep in there or something, accidentally hit the switch. Maybe walked back and realized, oh dang, I maybe I may have switched the power off this entire building. He did have like a big backpack on with boots hanging off of it. So yeah, yeah, Rebel. That's what I would I would, I would call yeah, like a, almost like a I, which I didn't realize we had that here at the shop, but it was like a, a mini station, if you will. Yeah, it's a big transformer with a big switch inside. And so I don't know if that person thought there was some that was there was more room in it than he thought. Maybe his backpack turned around, switched that off. I don't know. Slenderman. Slenderman. So. So yeah, so apparently that person maybe walked walked by again and thought, oh, maybe I did this, because we were like walking in and in and out of the out of the building trying to figure out something. 
Ooh, look at this coming up. We got Milan Tolentino to 99, green chrome for John and the Indians. And a, uh, I think that's Mike, right? Five out of five. Mike Ciani for the Red Legs. Jay Olanda with the Cincinnati Reds gets the red parallel. Five out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. So that was the weird story. So for like the, the last 20, 30 minutes or whatever. We're just trying to figure that out, and that guy just comes by, flips a switch, and then there's it. There's a paper purple Torkelson, 246 out of 250. The number stamping seems a little rushed, doesn't it? It's Debra with the Tigers. Still nice, though, Debra. So yeah, so I think because of the abrupt nature of how this of uh of how the computer was shut down, I think we lost the first half of this video. So apologies for that. Well, maybe maybe the live stream video we might be able to pull a copy from there, but. Throw, throws off our, our whole evening. And a nice sparkle, Jason Dominguez, and a Texas Rangers autograph. Nice. That is for Jason with Jason. Jason Johnson with Jason Dominguez. Nice. And the Rangers, that'll be Wade Valentine. 130, 123 out of 499, Texas Rangers autograph. Well, that's the big mystery, Townsend. I don't know why he would do that. Was it sabotage? Was it trying to be a prankster? Was it just an accident? Uh, Tekoa Roby was the autograph right here. There it is. Refractor autograph to 499. Yeah, I know. We, I mean, we've got we've got cameras everywhere, and that's we saw we saw him kind of wandering around the shop on the video. There's Cole Henry. So there is video evidence that we're that we're sending to the police. Actually, there's Townsend with the Nats to fifty. There you go. You can get that Cole Henry blue wave autograph. My guess it was just a that maybe it was someone thinking that there was a little space to sleep in there and then accidentally switch that off. Not, not really into local news right now.
up and an outstanding career for Zach Wilson in what may be his final home game as he has seen his uh, draft stock rise. Yeah, we can watch his Zach Wilson kid, BYU. And we've got for the Angels, we've got a Reed Detmers autograph. 70 out of 99. I know, it's been a weird week, Brendan. It's been a weird year. All right, we've got Nicholas Kasberg with the Angels, and I think that's going to be that. And one of the strangest super jumbo breaks that we've had in a long time. That was random team number five. Let's do another recap again. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. And there you go. Apologies for the inconvenience on that, but these are the crazy times we live in. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one.